With the new Reclaimer Derelicts in the 3.17.2 update comes with brand new missions and in this video I'm going to show you the best way to make a ton of money with these new Reclaimer missions. To start, here are all the new Reclaimer Derelict missions and here are all the payouts for these missions. Guess which ones are worth doing? That's right, it's these ones. Surprising right? Oh wait, hold on. Uh... That's better. These two missions will net you tons of money in a short amount of time if you do it right. Fun fact, October Rising is the only illegal mission on this list. That's cause this mission will have you going against Crusader security. So without further ado, let's start with this mission. In the October Rising mission, you're tasked with getting a package for the Ninetales from their reclaimer that has been ambushed by Crusader security forces and deliver it back to Grimhex. Now here's the thing, if you hurt or kill any Crusader security guys or ships, you'll get a crime stat. If you die from the security forces, you'll respawn in jail with at least a level 1 crime stat. This puts a lot of risk when doing this mission cause if you fail, you're going to jail. And the ship is crawling with security forces. So getting a crime stat is inevitable, right? Well. What if there's a way to do it without getting a crime stat? Assuming you don't die of course. To begin, you're going to need a large ship with size 3 shields. The cheapest one you can get is the Constellation Andromeda which you can rent for about 70k which is just under the payout of this mission. I highly recommend bringing a multi-tool with a tractor beam attachment. If you haven't already, set your spawn at Grimhex. When first approaching the beacon, a hostile ship will show up along with a bunch of neutral ships. Those ships will soon turn hostile but that doesn't mean you're free to shoot them. Only one of those ships is the bad guy. Usually a prospector. Shooting the other ships will give you a crime stat because those are security ships. The best approach is to ignore all of them. You don't want to waste time fighting them. Make sure your ship's shields are fully charged before getting close to the October Rising. Once you get close enough, exit your ship and head to the airlock. Your ship will be fired upon by other ships, but the size 3 shields should handle it. Once you're in, you'll notice a body by the elevator. Next to the body is a tablet that shows a code for a locked container. A tablet with a code will also be located in the center of the salvage balcony area. The key to doing this mission is to run and ignore all the security guys. The package will spawn in one of three areas. It will spawn at the end of the salvage processing area, the makeshift operating area in the center of the habitation deck, or in the scanning room. If it's in the salvage processing area, that's where the multi-tool comes in. I've only seen it spawn inside a locked container, but it can also spawn outside of the container. To get into the container, enter the code that you saw on the tablet. Once you open the container, instead of going in there and risk getting shot at, use your multi-tool and retrieve the package from a distance. Then head back to the elevator to the habitation deck, exit through the airlock, and get back into your ship. If the package spawned in the other areas, instead of going through the airlock, you can take the elevator down to the scanning room. There is a small exit elevator that you can take to get out of the ship. It is a tight squeeze though, and there's a chance you'll die taking this elevator with the package in your hands. Silver lining is that if you die from the elevator, you won't get a crime stat, so you can go back and finish the mission. Then fly back to Grimhex. Instead of landing in the hangar, you can land on the pads on top of Grimhex. Pad 2 being the closest to the Grimhex hospital. It is a bit riskier, but it's a lot faster. Set down the package on the designated shelf and you're done. Then you can fly out, log out from your bed, and hop onto the next server and do it all again. And most importantly, no crime stat! The mission typically spawns around Crusader's Moons and Lagrange Points, although I've only seen it spawn at Cruel 2 and Cruel 5. If it spawns at Cruel 5 though, you're better off logging out and logging back in to get the mission to spawn closer to you. Usually I can finish this mission in less than 15 minutes, with my best being around 10 minutes. So depending on your ship and your PC, and if you're really lucky, you can do this mission 5 times in 1 hour, netting you over 360k an hour. But realistically, you're more likely going to do this 3-4 to four times an hour, netting you up to almost 300k an hour, which is still a lot of money. But what if you want to do something that's less risky? What if you don't have or don't want to get a big ship? Well look no further than Black Kite. In the Black Kite mission, you're tasked with infiltrating the Ninetales Reclaimer called the Black Kite. Your job is to find the decryption key and locate the server where you insert the decryption key so this mysterious person can remotely transfer the data. Once the data is transferred, you will then destroy the ship. Before you start, it is recommended to bring a weapon, although you don't have to, and I'll show you why in a sec. And if you haven't already, accept the call to arms mission to earn a little more bonus money for killing Ninetales. Once you've approached Black Kite, park your ship towards the front bottom right of Black Kite, or park your ship right up to the airlock. Then go to the airlock and gan the ship. There's a room to the right in the hallway that will have a decryption key. Sometimes there's a Ninetales dude in that room. You can kill him, or knock him out and grab his weapon. There's always at least one enemy in the habitation deck that can knock out and grab his weapon. Head to the elevator and go down to salvage processing. In there you'll find a bunch of Ninetales who you're free to kill. I typically run past them and kill whoever is closest to the server, which is located at the end of the room. From there you take out the key using C 
or whatever keybind you use to equip med pens and insert it into the server. Then run back to the elevator. If the objective doesn't update by the time you reach the elevator, you probably have to go back and reinsert the key. Once you're done, take the elevator back to the habitation deck. Run all the way to the front end of the ship. Go down the ladder into the scanning room, open the elevator door beside the ladder, or if you parked your ship at the airlock, Call the elevator before going to the cockpit and then head to the cockpit. Sit down on the pilot seat and then initiate self-destruct. From there, depending on where you parked your ship, you can either take the small exit elevator in the scanning room or take the other elevator to the habitation deck and exit from where you came. Then get into your ship and fly away. If you die in the elevator, don't immediately spawn back at the clinic until after Black Kite blows up. Otherwise, the mission might glitch and you won't get paid. You can also destroy Black Kite with your ship, but it's a big ship and it's gonna take a while. I would recommend you get a ship with a bed so that once you get paid, you can stay in your ship when you quickly log out in your bed and log back into another server. This mission can spawn on Microtech's moons and Lagrange points. I've seen it spawn in these Lagrange points. Like the last mission, it is not worth going to Mike L5 to do Black Kite and you're better off logging into another server. Also, if you log out immediately after completing the mission, if you log back in and accept the mission again, there's a chance the black kite will spawn right next to you, which has happened to me a couple times. This mission can be done in 10 minutes or less, with my best being less than 7 minutes. Although I wouldn't say you could do this 8 times an hour, unless you have some extreme luck. Around 5 to 6, maybe 7 times an hour is more likely, which would be around 250 to over 350k an hour if you have call to arms enabled. If after a while the black kite mission stops showing up after server hopping, what I did was I accept a random mission and then log out. If you want to, you can also abandon it before logging out. If it still doesn't show up after logging back in, just keep doing it. It will eventually show up. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Quick channel update. Over a week ago, I made a video about grinding for a reclaimer for 318, but I made a major error that not only made the video pointless, but also misleading. So I apologize for that, and the video is no longer publicly on my channel. And shout out to Trombloni for letting me know, because I actually didn't know there was going to be a wipe for 318. And if you want more Star Citizen stuff, check out this video here. It has lots of good info.